All right, guys. So when I did the fog light install, I had the whole center console right here off. Um, I, I knew I ordered a an Android radio, a 10.1 Android radio with CarPlay and all of that. But I was curious to see how they wired up everything back here because the the head unit was aftermarket. And when I bought the car, I noticed there was an there was a um, amplifier underneath right here. So I quickly pulled it off the head unit itself which is right here. I pulled it off to see how their wiring is and everything. And of course they got the RCA wires and the harness here. I got the head unit right here. So I'm curious to see how everything is and how I'm going to um, plug everything in. Let's just do a quick open box on this unit right here. So I got this off of Amazon for a hundred and twenty something dollars it's inside backup camera wiring mounting plates the GPS sensor wiring with the RCA for the amp and the unit itself. Pull this out. <clears throat> they had a 9 inch and a 10 inch. I decided to go with the 10 inch just, just because. I don't know. I think the 9 would fit easy um would fit better. But I just went with 10 just to have a bigger screen. But I'm glad to see there's um RCA wires are here so it's pretty much gonna be plug and play hopefully all right I studied <laughs> the wiring harness that came with the radio and I got two RCA jacks it just says one for left out one for right out but on my car how the previous owner wired it they got one set front right left right and then another set right here that's um front left back left so i went on amazon and i ordered um rca y splitters wait for that to come tomorrow and then we'll we'll try to figure this out all right guys so i'm back it looks very complicated when you have everything out like this and it could be overwhelming but don't be scared or don't worry it's very straightforward um for me everything was already wired up for the the speakers and we already know through common sense that red is power yellow is constant and black is um is the negative or the ground wire <clears throat> what i did not know was what this blue wire does and what this green wire does seems like they wired the green wire together with this this blue wire that goes to this black wire so i had to um, look on back of my original radio that i pulled out and i looked up the wiring diagram and it looks like blue is to power on the amp and on our new harness right here it has a blue wire for the amp you can see you know says antenna over here on um, this wiring harness it has amp control so i'm gonna wire it to this wire and this green wire i'll connect it together um with the power the yellow red and black i'll wire it right here to to red yellow and black I got my soldering iron right here and I have a roll of duct tape after soldering I'll, I'll duct tape it. Alright guys, I got everything soldered in and we're going to cover it up with electrical tape. Then we're going to wait for the RCA wire, the splitter to come through so we can plug this portion on and then we should be good to go. 
So I ordered a Y splitter and I'm waiting for that to come through. And in the meantime, everything here is kind of paused, but I wanted to make a video on painting some accessories, I guess. So this trim is off, but as you can see around right here, there's a bunch of um, nicks and dings on it. I'm deciding to paint it white to match white on the outside. So we're gonna go to Home Depot and get some primer, um, sanding paper and um, white paint. All right, the center console, we can't take this, our, we can take all of the electronics out, but I don't want to because it's too much work, I feel. Let's see. It's a couple of screws, but I think I'm just gonna cover it up and we'll just sand on the outside right here and then wipe it down and we'll spray it white. Guys, so I sanded the piece as best as I could and I wiped it down with alcohol. I'm gonna tape it up now and then we're gonna spray it. All right, I got everything taped off and it's meticulous inside the vents because from the factory, this was sprayed as well. And I don't know if they did it by hand or whatever, but yeah, it's taking forever. Um, I'm gonna wipe it down one more time and finally spray the primer. All right, I got both pieces wiped down right here in front. I'm gonna spray the primer on first. But it's looking pretty good. It's not even the real enamel paint yet. I'm liking the white. All right, I got the white gloss on and I'm kind of impatient <laughs> and I, I just set it up on the tree right here so I could spray it all around. It would be better for me to kind of hang it up but I don't have a, a tree or anything to hang it up. This thing just goes straight up like that. But um, we got the gloss white on and then we're just gonna spray some clear on. I have some little imperfections like right here, but whatever, it's a DIY. All right, I just sprayed the gloss. It's looking super nice, but um, getting little bugs like this landing on it is still on the gloss. Hopefully we could just sand them out. All right guys, I got this inside and I think the paint's looking pretty good, but I got some flaws here and there because I kind of touched it right here when it was still wet and curing. I put my fingerprint in there and then a bug flew into the paint right here and I just cleared straight over him. So I got the screen in. Let me grab it. I got the screen in and it's fitting okay. It doesn't cover the AC hole too much. It's a 10 inch. Now, I looked all over YouTube to see how people um, mount this in with the brackets and no one ever really discusses about it. So I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna use some Velcro <laughs> and see if it holds up. I'll, I'll Velcro the back of the screen here and then right here I'll put a big giant piece of Velcro right here and get it to stick. And I'll report back if it holds up or not. Alright guys, I got everything in. It's been a week later. I um, only got time on the weekends to do these things and kind of shoot the videos and all of that. But the radio's in. I got it um, attached to the center console. The center console came out very good with the Rust-Oleum. The only regret is uh, I wish I waited a little longer before handling the center console because uh, I started touching it and handling it like a, a day after and the paint was still soft so 
I put little dents and things like that into the paint, but for the most part, it looks okay. The white's matching with the white uh, paint outside. But with the radio, I'm pretty happy with it so far. I don't want to turn on any tunes or anything like that because, let's see, uh, I don't want to get copywritten. They provided a, a sample MP3 in here. But I haven't downloaded any MP3s in like 10 years or so. I don't have any new music bought at all. Um, I bought this because it has uh, Apple Play and it's going to connect to my phone and all of that. But um, yeah, this thing is just like having a tablet as your head unit. And it has all of these features and everything. Um, the apps right here going through um, Wi-Fi you could get YouTube on here watch videos and all of that but I haven't done that yet because I haven't had time all I have been really doing is um, using the radio which works the radio is right here um, it only has FM no AM and the sound that comes through is pretty clear um, what else is there that's pretty much basically it. I, I could do more in-depth videos. I know this video is um, kind of going over time right now. Uh, I got to piece everything together. But yeah, it's too many things going on with this video. I'll probably break it out into smaller um, specific um, topics, I guess. But yeah, you guys let me know in the comment section down below what you want to know about this radio. I'll... I'll try to do my best to um to answer your questions but yeah this is totally packed with features way more than the original deck and all of that especially when you couple it with wi-fi or tether tether it with your phone just just having youtube on here is like crazy already but yep let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think um Besides that, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.